Hey, Void, how you doing? Man, you probably tell by the thumb title. This, again, is not one of my A reviews. So, yeah. Uh, me and my partner. This is one of the movies I wanted to watch with my partner, but while well, I have several in the A category for there, I also had some unfinished business in reviewing all of the Godzilla flicks. And, well, before I get to the Godzilla vs. Kong ones, well, Kong Skull Island needed to be visited. Now, I've actually never seen this one up until now. I have seen uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, the new one, not the original. Well, I've seen the original, but I, never, I, uh, I digress. So, Kong Skull Island, however, I, at first... I'd seen plenty of King Kong movies. I reviewed plenty of King Kong movies. I didn't wasn't in a big hurry for it. Then I found out it was being brought in to create the whole monster verse thing. So like, okay, yeah, I better get around to seeing it eventually. And since this came out in 2017, so about seven years ago, it, it still took me a while. But I had heard good things. And I will say, yes, Kong Skull Island was good. And how could it not be with the cast this thing has? I mean, Tom Hiddleston, Samuel L. Jackson, John Goodman, Brie Larson, John C. Riley, just reading off the top. At first I was like, I do like John C. Riley, but he has to be used correctly. And this movie does good. He, he, is, he, is, he fits the bill very well for what, he, for what this movie's doing. Okay. So, this movie follows uh, John Goodman as uh, the leader of... Well, I don't know about the leader, but he's handling this branch of Monarch, and Monarch's getting on the verge of being shut down since after the whole Godzilla incident. Well, they're kind of trying to track down where more Titans are, and uh, it's, they're getting a little... They keep not finding things, or supposedly. Well, uh, however, they now have an opening onto Sp Skull Island, essentially an island surrounded by this eternal storm, but there's kind of a weather break that they might be able to get into to do some exploring. So, and they believe that they're going to find, well, titans. So, they get, uh, then they get a bunch of soldiers that are just about to go home. However, Samuel L. Jackson, their leader, is not really too eager to return to civilization. He's pretty much all about just, all he has left is war, so here he goes. And they hire Tom Hiddleston as kind of a survivalist guide. And off they go. And John C. Riley, uh, uh, Brie Larson's a scientist, I believe, if I recall correctly. And then John C. Riley is uh, a castaway that they find on the island, who was living with the, the natives there. Okay, so. They get there, they start dropping a bunch of charges, supposedly to map out the area, or they, they tell Alive about why they're doing it. Really, they're trying to flush out Kong, and they don't waste time. Kong appears right away and, well, grounds the entire operation. So, now they pretty much have to get to the rescue point when the rescue team is going to be there, otherwise they're going to be stuck on Skull Island. And that, so they have to cross the island while Samuel, while trying to reconvene with all the people who got separated, and Samuel Jax is determined to kill that big monkey. Yep, and there away we go. So it's a decent like war film mixed in with Kong, and it's a good time. The characters are likable. The action is definitely there, particularly when the skull crawlers are showing up. And uh, well, so well, it's a bit predictable at times. It's in a fun way, so it's definitely enjoyable. And watching Kong fight the the skull crawlers, including the the king skull crawler, was was a blast. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much what you're hoping to get out of a King Kong movie, especially when one he's this one he's just chilling in the jungle doing his thing. So, and it works well. I did enjoy this one. I mean, I'm more of a Godzilla guy than a Kong guy, but for a solo outing with Kong. This one does a good job for it, especially since it's not just redoing King Kong all over again. Like, King Kong's been remade enough times. This one is doing its own thing. And it's mostly exploring Skull Island. Well, I do recommend Kong Skull Island. 
It's not my favorite in the verse, but it is a solid entry. I'll give this one... We'll give it seven MacGuffins. Definitely. It's above average. It's good. It's worth seeing, particularly if you just want a, a good action flick where you're not expecting... I mean, it's not a high art film, but it's a fun movie, so... Just... If you want a good action flick with a giant ape, this is one of the better ones. Um, don't know if there's anything else really to say. So this one's 2017. Uh, at this point, we're kind of getting used to some of the giant monsters being more CG. And while the skull takers are, or skull crawlers aren't the greatest CG creations, they aren't terrible either. Kong himself does look pretty good overall. And I like how a lot of the sets are more practical looking, like when they're running through the giant bone fields of the, like, the graveyard area. Um, man, John C. Riley delivers a good comedic tone through when he arrives there. That helps make it feel like a good action. And, uh, it, it adds a feel-good atmosphere to it, so I do recommend it. Alright, all on this one, Void. I got another A movie coming up next. Promise.